Come, let's blast off and rocket past the moon. <laughs> we'll enter the race for outer space and land upon the schmoon. Okay. We'll see strange sights, including our schmoon goon. And now here's Beanie and Cecil in a Bob Clampett cartoon. A trip to the schmoon. Gosh, Cecil, you can sure get stars in your eyes up here. Yeah, it's your starry and moony juni. Well, we've left our Earth and we'll soon pass the moon. Now, behind the moon is the moon's own moon, <laughs> the schmoon, yeah. A planet no one ever seen. But now, thanks to the scientific genius of the world's greatest mind, my own, we will be the first to land on a strange new planet, yeah. Gosh, this is real exciting. Now I know how Columbus felt when he discovered Texas. See, so. <laughs> well, do you think we'll meet engines on the schmoon, or animals, or people, or... Or like, nothing. You mean like nothing, nothing? And I have something here that I created with my very active imagination. This is what the schmoon people may look like. All heads with small feet, or all bodies with pinheads. Or they may even be an assembly line product, or bug-like, or perhaps just big, fat blobs. <laughs> Gee. Men, we are now at the point of no return. This calls for men of courage, men to face the unknown, men that are dead game. I'm game, but let's leave it at that. Petey and Cecil, look, the schmoon, dead ahead. Couldn't you say straight ahead, sir? Gee. You let old Cease wrap his eyeball around the telescope for a look-see at what we're getting into. Hey, if I didn't know better, I'd swear the schmoon's rear end was missing. Prepare to land. Schmoon minus nine, eight, seven, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Okay, flight private Cecil, investigate the situation. Aye, aye, sir. Let's see now. It has a sky above, just like on Earth. See? And it has a sky below, too. A sky below? If there's anything I like, it's a quiet, uninhibited planet. I, Captain Huff and Puff, name this stuff Huff and Puff Bluff. Now, as we all know, there's no life on the schmoon. Now mm, oh, you're a good group. Why, it's only a big, fat blob. How would you like to take a trip to the moon? Well, now, that is real neighborly, but you see... A little traveling music, please, and away I go. There goes a couple of good kids. Good kids? But it's Beanie and the Schmoon Goon. Help, Cecil, help. Then away we go. The oddball into the side pocket. Beanie boy. Help, Cecil, help. I'm coming, Beanie. Help, Cecil, help. Now you've really got my dander up, you big fat blob! <laughs> Why, you... <laughs> oh, pardon me, little old whistling mother from Pasadena, but have you seen a big fat... blob? <laughs> I'd better change soon or I'll be all washed up. <laughs> this looks like a job for Super Cecil.
That's what I call using my head. Oh, would you like a trip to the moon, Goo? Sound? A little traveling music, please. And away he goes! Beanie Boy! Uncle Captain! Boy, geez, am I glad to see you. Oh, brother! Oh, I'm sorry if I hurt you, Mr. Schmoon Goon. Oh, oh, stop it. Cut it out. We had tickles. Look at how he sings.